so honored to be here, especially because for a long time, I thought I had to be a perfected version of myself before I could help other people. But when I look back at the moments in my life where I have participated in service, I see that I was in some of the deepest pain that I have ever experienced. When I was around 18 years old, about a year after my dad died, I started volunteering at orphanages in Mexico. I was feeling lost, angry, and devastated, and I didn't know what to reach for or what to hold on to. I said yes to this volunteer opportunity without understanding what I'd be doing. When I said yes, I thought, what did I just do? Why am I going to help other people when I can barely help myself? We were told that we could bring supplies to the kids. Other volunteers brought things like toothpaste, toilet paper, and diapers. I thought, well, what are people not buying? So I thought of pads. I didn't know much about periods, bodies, or feminism at that point, but I was very aware of how grossed out people get when they buy pads or period products at the store. So I thought, I am going to buy the thing that people are afraid of buying, and I'm going to buy it in bulk. Over the years, I discovered that period products are some of the most needed and least donated items in our shelters in this country. There are luxury taxes in the majority of states that prevent many people from having the products that they need. So I decided to speak out, and it eventually took me to the White House. I interviewed President Obama in 2016 and asked him about the luxury tax on tampons. And as it turns out, he didn't know it existed. And that moment went viral. People assumed it was just a fluke moment, but what they didn't realize was that I had spent seven to eight years learning about this issue. My gut instinct to buy pads years ago eventually led me to that moment. So what I learned is I don't need to be a perfected version of myself or an expert to help other people. I just need to show up. When we choose to transform our suffering by reaching for something outside of ourselves through acts of service, that is where healing begins. Now, 10 years later, I still feel afraid and vulnerable right before an act of service even small daily acts of service, like helping a stranger with directions. But I realized you always get something in return, even if you don't see it right away. You're connecting one-on-one -on -one with another person, and that uncertainty is so worth it. So extend yourself into the unknown. Say yes to something that you don't completely understand, and let it teach you. Thank you so much, Wee Day.